guys, welcome back to Tools and Build. Today we're going to work on the project Barber Chair. Today is the second part. I'm going to show you how I tag my parts and other procedure I do when I take my, any stuff out. All you're going to need is some uh, Ziploc bags, tie wraps, a marker, paper, pen, some little containers, and a camera. And I'll show you what I do step by step. I'm not going to do the whole barber chair because it'll take probably the whole day. But as soon as I do one, you're going to know how to do the rest because it's simple. It's repetitive. So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is the smallest part. And it's the foot rest. So we'll start with this. This is the footrest. As you see, there are four different pieces. Three, sorry, one. This is one. This is two. This is three. And there's a few bolts. I'll show you how I do it. Here, I have two containers. Over here is it's written missing and exchange. Though these are for parts that you take out that are have to be exchanged. This one is written chrome. You put all the bolts and nuts that are going to be chromed here. The container says exchange. It's to put the bolts and nuts that are eaten and rusted. You're spending a lot of money on getting it chromed or getting it power coated and you just don't want to give them any bolts that are eaten or a nut that's been taken on a vice grip. You want to give them some good quality so you get good quality back. And you put it in that bucket and then when it's time to go bring it to the person whoever is getting chromed or power coated, you'll see what you need and you go and you get some new ones. What I'm going to start is, like I said, take the picture of the whole unit. Then you take a picture of the piece you're t working on. Then you take out the bolts. You did the first one. The first one was completely eaten. We're going to take out the second one. But even if the bolts break, you have to, you have to keep them. And I'll tell you why. With the washer. Second one broke. Now you're taking these. Now you're taking this piece out. With a notepad, you write A, leg rest, foot rest, sorry. Right? 
heel. That's for the heel. Then you take the shipping tags or any other paper you like. Take a marker and you write down the same thing. A. Foot. Rest. Heel. Take the tie wraps, here you go, you have, here you go, you have your first part tag and you put it in a big container. You take another piece of paper. This could be just for the the material material and the next paper is going to be for the bolts. So, you know that it came with two bolts, two washers, and two nuts. The bolts are finished, and the nuts are finished. So these, you're going to have to buy. So you put... One goes to part A equals two bolts, two washers. Two nuts. You take a Ziploc bag. These you can buy it at Bureau on Grove, Staples. And you make sure you use a marker that doesn't smudge. And you write the same thing. Two bolts. Two washers, two nuts, one, two, part A, foot, rest. Heel. So everything is written down. And it goes right here. And that goes to missing an exchange file. We're going to do another part. And you see how it's going. We're going to take all these nuts out. Hopefully they don't break. Again. 
you take a picture of the bolts and I broke again trying to take out the screw They're all breaking up. doesn't seem once come out it's gonna break that I know and you can see everything broke so so far Screws are jammed. This will be point. This will be this piece right here will be B. So you're right. B. foot rest Oop. B foot rest you gotta be careful not to do the mistake that I did but if you catch on it's gonna be great take another Tag. B. Foot. Rest. Here we go, and you put it in a container. These are all the bolts that broke. We're going to try to take at least one out.
which I think is going to be quite hard. Let's clean this area. Okay, when you give them that person to get it plated, you gotta make sure all the bolts are off. These, you're gonna need these nuts and bolts. So you take a nice tie rod and you write down another Ziploc bag and you write down six bolts. Six washers, six nuts, and it goes to footrest. So it's B foot rest, and you put it in the bag that has to be. exchanged and get new there it is and you take the paper and you write two goes to part Eight foot rest, six bolts, six washers, six nuts. And 
this one, there's nothing. You just put C. Foot with second part. Always make sure that it sticks out. And you put it and the same thing goes back to the paper. C foot press second part this is the container that I put all my stuff and that's it you continue doing that through the whole barbecue it takes time but at the end, it's going to be worth it. One, I take pictures. And the pictures, I do a double. And for the reasons that is, if I don't remember how things go, I could look it up on the pictures and see, fine. That's how it is. That's how it looks. That's how I should put it. And I also give it a copy to whoever they get it chromed or plated. I read on the list. Like that, I am aware of every single part I have. And I make two copies. I keep one for me, and I give one to wherever they get chrome and plated. Or um, power cord. And the reason for that is when I give them the merchandise, they have a list of every piece that's tagged. And when they take it out to do whatever they gotta have to do, they're going to go by the list. And if there's a part missing, they could call me up and say, Hey, Mark, you have part C here written, but it's not in the box. So I could go home, look, and see if it's there or if it was lost in their place. And same with me. I could get all the parts back and say, Hey, there's part C missing. Calling them and go, listen, I got the merchandise back, but part C is not there. They'll go look for it. It's the way of keeping everything in tra keeping everything tracked. And that's what I did to my barber chair, that's what I did to my barber, and all the other projects. It's pictures and writing, pictures and writing, tagging. And you do that to every project. And guarantee that you won't lose a part unless the second party that's doing the painting, doing the chroming, the tinting, the electrician, whatever, if they lose it. So that's my second part of my project. And now the hardest part. So once everything is teared down, I got to start looking, looking for pieces. I'm not sure what I'm missing, but the way it looks that I'm missing is the handle to pump. The mechanic is all seized. I tried my hand. And another thing I'm missing is the attachment of the footrest to the hydraulic brakes. And that's, I'm having a hard time finding a picture. To, uh, sorry, trying to figure out a picture that shows how those two are attached so I can continue. Anyway, that's it for this little video. If you like it, please press like. Stay tuned for more of the barbiture coming. If it's I'll show you when it's completely down. I'll show you everything that's tagged. And then it's 
time. I don't know when to get power coded. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. I don't know from when I'm gonna get power coded. I don't know when I'm gonna get it leathered. I don't know when I'm getting it black chrome, uh, painted. I have no idea what's actually happening until I find all the parts. Like I said for the first video, part two could be the last part until everything is back at, on my hands. In the meanwhile, I'm going to continue tearing down the barber chair. Hopefully, from now until the next video, I'll keep you updated of what I found, what I need. And if, ever, if it goes to, to uh, chroming or if it goes to power chroming, let you know. So please spread like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.